Hey guys, how's it going? Merry early Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry after Christmas, depending on when you're watching this video. I'm busy during this holiday season just like you, but I did want to make some content and I wanted to cover a bunch, a bunch of stuff. I think I might be out of frame here, I'm not looking at my screen. Uh, so, if you're just here for like the mini reviews, I'm gonna do a bunch of mini gear reviews, apparel reviews really, I'm gonna put the time right down here. Put the time right here, if that's all you came for, if that's all you care about, jump ahead. If you wanna hear me ramble a little bit, talk about some channel updates, some future plans that I have, things like that, stay tuned because I'll get into them right now. Christmas is upon us, it snuck up on me. I barely was able to make that Christmas video, Christmas idea video, uh, but I did. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I talk about, it's kind of a similar video to this. I talk about just a lot of cool gear, uh, but it reminded me of something. So VanQuest sent me this cool multicam black uh, stocking from their team for Christmas. And I was like, you know, that was that's really cool. That's really nice of them. Awesome people over there. And I thought maybe we should celebrate Christmas together sometime. This is cheesy and it might sound different than I mean it to, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a P.O. box. You can send me stuff. I'm gonna open it on camera and we're gonna have Christmas together. It'll probably be after Christmas, but uh, I'm hoping to have everything by like January 1st. So if you feel like sending me something, I'll put my P.O. box down in the video description below. Maybe I'll put it here if I remember. Don't send me anything expensive. Uh, don't, you know, just if you wanna be a part of this, if you wanna send me something little, something fun, awesome. I'm not looking for handouts. I'm not looking for donations. I'm not looking for anything like that. So I don't want it to come across as like send me free stuff because I need all the free stuff. It's more of a chance to just like get you guys involved and celebrate Christmas together. And I think it would be fun. I don't do a lot of like mail review unboxing kind of stuff, but I'm going to make a video just about it. And it's all going to be like fan stuff. I mean, if you're a, if you own a brand, if you own a company, you know, gun or gear or whatever, and you feel like sending me something then that you want me to open, go for it. I'm opening everything. Keep it clean though. Keep it clean, guys. If it's if it's something raunchy or something, I'm probably not gonna show it because I try to keep my uh, videos kind of family friendly. If you want to be part of that, awesome. Uh, this is how I'll do it. I'll say your first name and last initial only. Unless you want to be anonymous, then don't put a name on a box. Second announcement, I'm going to SHOT Show this year. It's gonna be my first year going to SHOT Show ever. Pretty excited about it. Uh, so, a couple things that go along with that. One, if you feel like meeting me or wanna shake my hand or talk to me about a project that you wanna work on in the future or whatever, find me. Uh, probably the best way to keep track of me is follow my Instagram, at last line of defense, one word. Uh, I'll probably be doing the live story kind of thing, maybe live video, I don't know. But I'll try and talk about where I'm gonna be. Um, if you wanna contact me ahead of time to try and set up a meeting or a product demo or something like that, uh, shoot me an email at mike at llod.us and we'll try and, we'll try and hook up at, at SHOT Show. I wanna meet you guys, meeting fans obviously is cool, meeting other people in the industry, awesome. So I'm gonna be at SHOT. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I did order some patches. These are SHOT Show. I'm gonna be handing them out at SHOT Show exclusively. It's black with OD kind of letters and mountains. So if you see me at SHOT Show and you want a patch, I ordered, I think, I think 100 of them, which I'm not that popular. I doubt I'll go through. But if I have leftovers, I'll probably just uh, offer them for sale to you guys. But if you're if you're at SHOT Show, track me down, get a patch, cool. If I run out, I run out. I probably won't, but if I do, I do. So yeah, SHOT Show, excited about that. Also, if there's specific products coming up, if there's a specific booth that you really want me to go to, I, I do have a media pass, so I can bring my camera, I can film everything, I can go to the range day, I can do all the stuff that you want me to do. So I'll probably be making some videos of SHOT Show, but not everything, only the stuff that I care about and hopefully you care about. So yeah, SHOT Show coming up, cool. Speaking of merch and patches and stickers and shirts and hats and all that stuff, I've just been so, so busy. So I've built my website like three times on three different platforms. I'm a web developer, if you're wondering. If you're looking for web work, uh, we're pretty busy right now, but if you're looking at web work in 2018, hit me up. Rehab Creative is my 
brother's company that I work for. We kind of run things together. It's really his thing. But Rehab Creative is the company that I do web development for. If you're looking for website, web help, that kind of stuff, but probably not until, well, it's almost 2018 already, but not until like mid-2018, contact me. I'd love to work with you. Mike at rehabcreative.com is my email if you're, if you're wondering about website stuff. Having said that, I've, I've been experimenting with different web platforms, uh, e-commerce shopping platforms, seeing, just, you know, doing some individual research, building my website. So I've basically built my website like three different times and I haven't been happy with it at any of those times. I work primarily, we work primarily on a platform called, called Drupal which is super powerful. Uh, overkill really for a little e-commerce site that I wanted to build, but I'm so familiar with it. It's so good. It does stuff so well in a lot of ways, uh, but I wanted to try out different e-commerce platforms because I always heard how horrible Drupal was for e-commerce. Uh, not like, for, it's very secure, but just kind of like it's bulky and it's cluttered and there's, there's more there than you need. So I wanted to try one of these streamlined services and they're just, oh, they all, they all suck. I haven't been happy with them. So I was about to launch my site. Uh, WooCommerce is the last iteration that I built a site on, and I'm just not happy with it. So I'm going to start from scratch and just do it on Drupal because it's what I know and love. So website, all that to say, website delayed, stuff delayed. I'm still taking uh, orders via email, which I kind of like. It's kind of personal, and you can ask me questions, and I can kind of clear up any mysteries beforehand. Uh, so it's a, it's a friendly way to sell stuff, but it's not, it's not the best way because it takes a lot of time for me to reply to emails. You can't just send links to people that you want to share the holsters with. So I will get a holster website up eventually. Uh, merch and stuff, I may just in the interim, you can buy stuff from like Printful or something. So as that, as details on that stuff becomes available, I'll let you guys know, but I just wanted to let you know, sorry, I know I've been talking about launching a website and merch and apparel for a long time. It's just been busy, as always, busy. But I'm never just like sitting around not doing anything. It's busy because I'm just doing so much stuff. Okay, I think that's all the announcements that I have the energy to talk about right now. So now we're gonna get into uh, mini apparel reviews. The idea behind this video is that I am a shopping addict, I buy stuff all the time, I have a problem, I've read books, I'm trying to get better, I'm trying to get help. I am. But until then, I buy a lot of stuff. Also, nature of the channel, I review a lot of stuff, I get a lot of cool guy gear sent to me. So I just have so much stuff. I have so much gear that I'll never be able to review at all. But a lot of it is cool. Some of this stuff I am planning on doing full reviews about. Some of this stuff probably I'll never do full reviews about, but I just wanted to mention it because I thought it was Cool. I'm not talking about everything I own, obviously. This is just kind of the cool stuff that I, I like. Uh, some, maybe I've talked about in videos in the past. Some, I, I know most of it I haven't. But I just thought it would be a cool video because I always get questions. Anytime I take a picture on Instagram or anytime I'm wearing something in a video, I will always get comments, messages, emails, direct messages, whatever about, oh, what's that jacket? How do you like it? Blah, blah, blah. Where can I get it? Or what's that hat? Where can you set, give me a link? All that stuff. So I'm going to just kind of not hit everything that I've ever worn, but a lot of the stuff that I get asked questions about uh, and some stuff that I never wear in videos, but I just really like for myself. Without further ado, I'm going to get into it from kind of like, I think I'm going to go up, like do hats, hats, hats and beanies, jackets, outerwear, and then maybe talk about a couple pants. And I think that's it. I think that's it. I just grabbed some stuff and threw it on the table over here. So let's just get into it. Okay, so here is a beanie that I've been wearing. It's called, uh, it's called, I don't know what it's called. It's an Arcteryx beanie. It's pretty form-fitting, pretty thin, but does have this inner band. Guys, I know I need a haircut. The deal with my hair, if you're wondering, is I'm not trying to be fashionable. I'm not trying to be like Justin Bieber. It's that I just don't have time to get haircuts. They're not a priority on my list. So I get a haircut like every four to six months and I cut it relatively short and then it just grows out until I remember to cut it again. So it's getting to the long phase. I know it, quit making fun of me, I'll cut it. Anyways, this beanie, so it's relatively thin kind of up top and then has this kind of band of soft warmth. This is 
one of my favorite beanies. I don't even know if it's for sale anymore. Hopefully it is because I'll try to link to it. I'm gonna link to all this stuff below. Obviously, if you like it, if you think it's cool, purchasing it with my links helps the channel. That's all I'll say about that. Here's another Arc'teryx beanie. A little more simple, a little more in your face though. Uh, and it's a little thicker overall than the other one, but doesn't have a special like liner on the inside. But another beanie that I wear quite a bit that you guys probably see me wearing quite a bit. Here's a thinner one. Uh, it's a tactical distributors one. And this is very nondescript. So this is more your skull cap type beanie. I think they come in a couple different colors. Uh, when I need something just a little more trim, a little more slim, I go for that one. I got this one. This one is way hipster. Uh, I don't wear it much because of that. But if you're into kind of this bigger style, this is another Arc'teryx one, but the Arc'teryx logo is minimal and small. It does your kind of stick up thing. You can kind of pull it down lower. It's, I don't know. It's not totally my style, but this is kind of, kind of an in style. I thought it looked cool. It's just a little bigger than I thought it would be, but you could check that out. And hats, I swear. Uh, Arc'teryx hasn't paid me a cent. They actually haven't even sent me a single piece of gear ever in my life. They have no idea who I am, so uh, I just like a lot of their gear. This is the wool hat, a thicker hat, a nice winter hat that is uh, flex fit, and it's just cool. I bought it actually at an Arc'teryx store in Washington, but I think they sell it online. I'll link to it. I've been wearing this hat pretty much all the time. If you If you follow me, on anything, you've probably seen me wearing that hat. Uh, Dangerous But Good. They also, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but they're a cool company that uh, my morals and my beliefs line up a lot with Christian company. Uh, awesome, awesome people over there. So they have a lot of cool hats. They kind of do releases, limited releases and stuff. Uh, so I have a lot of their hats that I wear. Black Rifle Garb makes some cool ones, nondescript uh, gun type logos and stuff on there. Again, they don't sponsor my channel. Nobody sponsors my channel. I haven't made a cent, not one penny. People, I've, how do I say this? I'm having trouble talking. Not one company has sent me one penny to rep their products, to review their stuff, nothing. So I just want you guys to know that. Uh, Anything I talk about is just because I want to talk about it. Granted, people do send me stuff, but it's never because I have to review it. It's just, they hope I'm going to review it. And the stuff, the stuff I like, I review. Here are my own hats that I'm going to be selling eventually. This is a trucker style. This is the last line of defense, American flag mountain. Uh, I, I, I like it. I don't wear my own brand stuff. A lot. Sorry, I'm probably like out of the frame half the time. I should probably talk when I'm back in frame. Here's a black one. Here's a flex fit one in gray. Anyway, again, <laughs> I'll sell those eventually. Okay, not much to talk about hats. So now we're gonna talk about uh, clothing, jackets and stuff. So this one, so this one, if you guys watch YouTube, I'm sure you've seen other channels wearing it because it's a Kickstarter. Uh, I may do a full review on it if I have time, but quick, we'll do a quick rundown. This is a company called Amobilis, I believe. It's a guy that's been making clothing for military and special ops and stuff for like 20 years. So they're, they're actually an established company, but this specific product is a Kickstarter, uh, along with another one I'll talk about in a second. Uh, it's definitely kind of a polarizing jacket. It's super tactical, and it reminds me of a mix of Starship Troopers, Mad Max, tactical something, and like a motorcycle jacket. So it's got a bunch of pockets, it's got little like slots you can hook gear in, it's got like a little ring here you can hook stuff to, it's got a lot of pockets, pockets here, pockets in the back. Uh, it's relatively thin, gigantic, gigantic, uh, I didn't take the back wrap this, but gigantic Velcro thing if you wanna put morale patches, little thing for morale patches here. Anyway, Kickstarter, cool jacket, comes in a couple different colors. This one is the black. 
If I have time, I'll do a full review on it just because they did send me a link, um, my, my own link. So if you feel like checking them out, if you feel like buying it, I'll link below. If you feel like buying it using my link helps me get like a little piece of something. I, I don't even, I don't even really know. Anyway, jacket, I'm sure you've seen it. It's cool. It's really, I mean, I like the jacket but it's definitely polarizing. If you like this style, you're gonna be like, that is a sick jacket. If you don't, you're gonna be like, oh, it's a little over the top. They're also, I believe, in the same Kickstarter doing this sweatshirt. Uh, it's gonna be another polarizing piece. It's kinda got this big, weird uh, buttons and neck piece. So it's kinda, it's kinda fashionable, maybe more fashionable than stuff I'm used to wearing, but also functional. It's got these kinda higher, uh, wear panels for packs and stuff in your higher wear area so it won't break down. It's got a pocket here, it's got big through and through pockets down here. So it's, it's, another, it's another kind of purpose built thing, but definitely with some serious styling, some serious styling cues, but it's totally OD, which is, which is my thing right now. So another sweatshirt, same Kickstarter, same link, Link to this below, Amobilis, check them out. I haven't had a ton of time with this, but I wanted to get it out there before the Kickstarter was over in case I can't get around to it. So check it out if you're into it. Here's a random flannel. This is probably my most worn, completely non-tactical piece of clothing. They have this in OD. Also, this is the gray one. This is a flannel. And just a quick education tidbit, flannel is like the material plaid is what flannel typically is, and that's like the pattern, coloration, whatever you wanna say. So when people refer to plaid, that is a color. When people refer to flannel, that is a material. A lot of people will say flannel when really they're talking about plaid. Anyway, <laughs> this is flannel, single color. It's got kind of these like soft corduroy cuffs and stuff. Anyway, like a relatively high quality, affordable flannel. Not tactical at all, but I couldn't make a video about gear, honestly, without talking about like the thing that I wear probably more than anything else, which is this flannel. Bought it on Amazon, tons of, comes in a ton of colors. My hair is just kind of too long and getting out of control, so I'm gonna put this beanie on to, to get it back under control. This is a little jacket that I probably get asked about more than any piece of clothing that I own. And I don't talk about it, I've never made a video about it, just because I'm kind of ashamed of it. What it is, is a multicam black, but the thing is, it's not even official multicam black pattern. It's from, I don't even know where it's from, maybe China, maybe some other, not from the US, some other country. I found this jacket years ago on eBay, when multicam black kind of just came out, and I wanted one. I love the pattern, I still love the pattern, obviously. There's still no real companies making just like kind of a cool jacket out of this material. Somebody make one, a company. I will make a review of it. I'll wear it all the time. You'll sell a ton of them. Cool company, contact me. Let's make a jacket. Let's do a collab. Anyone, I don't even, I don't even care what company you are. If you're made in the US, awesome. If not, whatever. I just want a jacket like this that I just, I just want to make one. But this one's okay. I'm not proud of it because it's just a random eBay. Uh, I don't know who it's supporting. I don't know where the money's going. Some company I've never heard of. But it's kind of, you know, kind of militant, but has, has cool pockets. The inner material is kind of this like mesh stuff. It has a zipper and Velcro things. I wish these Velcro things were black instead of this gray. It does have a big hood. Anyway. People ask all the time about this jacket. It's eBay, eBay special. I'll try and link to it below, I, but you know, with eBay, I don't know how that goes. I'll do my best, but multicam black jacket from eBay. I just, I love the fit of it. Uh, I don't even remember. I think you got it. I think it's like Asian sizing. So you probably, if you're like a large, you gotta get an extra large or something, but it usually says that in the description. That's it. People ask all the time, what's this jacket? Where is it? What brand is it? I don't know. Let's see. So not actually China, I don't think. This is the tag. Here it is. Whatever that is. That's what this jacket is. No idea. Some real company. Contact me. Let's make a multi-cam black jacket.
Let's do it. Here's a jacket, Arc'teryx again. Arc'teryx, if anybody there at Arc'teryx works there, hit me up, man. Sponsor me, I'd love it, I love your stuff. But, pricey, spendy, always, yes. Yes, I, overpriced, maybe it's hard to talk about whether something is overpriced because there's always people willing to pay it. This is the Arc'teryx Alpha LT Leaf. It's the Ranger Green. Uh, this is the only logo that you can see. So it's not a piece of their, it's not one of their pieces that's just screaming, look how wealthy I am. It's kind of just like pretty nondescript again. This is in there, I think it's Ranger Green. I got this from Tactical Distributors. Super expensive, super high quality. It's gonna last you forever. This is just a shell. People have seen pictures of it, people have asked about it. I'm probably gonna do a full review on it because it's such an expensive piece, such a high quality piece that I think it deserves its own review. But if you're wondering and you've asked, that's what it is. I wanted a, for me personally, I live in Colorado, weather's crazy, sometimes snowing, sometimes raining, whatever, it's super unpredictable. I wanted a lightweight, packable, heavy duty, super waterproof shell. This was it, but I didn't want that in a thick, heavy duty jacket because I like layering. So I wanna wear multiple layers underneath this, take them off if I need to. So this is just a shell. If you're wondering, the color is great. This is a medium. I wear large usually. This medium actually is plenty big. So I wanted room enough under this for layering. But just so you know, the medium, medium's pretty large. This is my go-to jacket when I just need to toss something on but I want a little bit of warmth. This is a down by Tactical Distributors with the unique pattern, comes in black and gray. I think I've, did I just say? I think I mentioned it in videos before. I think I mentioned it in videos before. But nice, this pocket, I love jackets that have this pocket. Pretty much all my jackets do. I always just put my key fob in here because I don't like it in my pocket, but I want to be able to like unlock it or lock it if I need to from there. So has that pocket, has your standard big pockets over here, kind of has these internal pockets, has a media port for your headphones, but I don't use that because I use all wireless headphones. Anyway, jacket that'll keep you pretty warm. The thing that I love about down, I hate, I hate what happens to the geese from the down, but the things I love about down is just, it's, it's a miracle thing to wear. I can wear this out in 20 degree weather and be pretty good for a while, but then I can go into like a 70 degree house and still not just like start sweating immediately. So there's something about down that I just love in Colorado because I do a lot of temperature changing like that, like go out freezing, go into a store, go out freezing, go into a restaurant, whatever. And down is just, it's my favorite thing for that. The down range jacket, uh, this is their best one yet. I've had every model of their jackets for, sh for since they started making them like, I don't know, three or four years ago. This is the best one to date. And then a lot of times I just wanna toss on a little sweatshirt. Uh, this is something I'll wear on its own if it's you know relatively cool out or I'll wear it under a down or under a thicker jacket to add another layer. Another tactical distributors thing, but this is just, it's my favorite. It's kind of this stretchy material, but the inside isn't sticky. So a lot of times what you'll find with kind of like fleece shirts and stuff, you put it on and then your arm, your arm of your shirt kind of like sucks up in there and then you gotta reach in and pull it back out or whatever. I hate that, I can't stand that, which is why I don't usually wear fleeces and stuff that much. So this doesn't do that. Thin material, it's not gonna keep you that warm, but has your pockets, has a nice hood, zips up high like that. Pull straps, it's got the pocket that I love. My key's actually in there right now because I wore this today. Places for patches if you want to toss those on and good pockets, just a nice uh, affordable, this is usually can be had around 50 bucks or under, it goes on sale all the time. I like it, love the fit, kind of a slim fit. This is a piece of Tad gear. This is a medium. I probably could have gone for a large in this. I forget what it's called. It might be called the field shirt. Uh, I have a couple pieces of Tad gear. This is my favorite, just kind of, it's technically a shirt, 
but really it's a little bit insulated. So I kind of wear it as just like a light jacket. And I pretty much, I, I almost always, no matter my jacket, if it's, if it's 10 degrees out, I almost never zip it up. So this does have buttons, not zips, but that doesn't affect me at all. But if you're looking for a zipper, this doesn't have it, but has kind of more higher wear areas. I like the color, obviously, I like the fit. This is gonna be a pretty expensive piece. It does have pockets like a jacket, and these are zippable if you need to secure something. Has this pocket that I like for my keys, another one on the other side, and also an inside zipper pocket. So this, if you know Tad, Triple Lot Design, super, super high quality, but also you're gonna pay for it. Made in America, I think this runs like 170, which is gonna be pretty expensive for some of you guys for what it is, which is technically just a shirt, but really for me, it's a jacket. I wear it when, you know, I just wanna look a little bit, a little bit better. Very comfortable, great. Sorry if you heard my dog banging this around earlier. This, if you don't know about it, <laughs> this is random, uh, this is a Kong, but it's not like a put it in the bottom. It's this thing, the top screws off and you fill it with like food or treats. People usually fill it with treats. Uh, Atreyu loves food and eating anything so much. I just fill it with food and he loves it. Knocks it around the house for a while. He uh, licks the food up off the floor. So he like mops my house. It's like a free mop, mopping service for me too. Anyway, sorry if that was banging around in the background. All right, let's get into pants. I'm not gonna do my typical pants reviews here. I'm just gonna hold them up and show you some of the features about them. People sometimes ask for more affordable pants. I do a lot of high-end stuff on the channel. Uh, these are a pair of propers. I forget the model, but I'll link them down below. And it's got this unique sticky kind of rubber thing. What this does is help you keep your shirt tucked in. So it doesn't really affect me at all because I don't tuck in my shirts ever. But for those that do, I guess a nice little feature, it does have a stretchable waist, one of these systems, which are really my preferred stretchable waist. These are my favorite when pants have this kind of a system to stretch. Sorry, this is my screen. I, I explain this because people always like yell at me like, why are you looking off to the side so much? It's because I'm trying to make sure things are in focus. So I'm looking at my screen to see if things are in focus. So pair of proper, what are these? Oh, actually it says right here. These are the RevTac pants. So these are a pant that are uh, just kind of your classic looser fitting pant, but have a lot of cool pockets. You have your standard pocket, and then you have a little side knife or flashlight type pocket. And then you got back pockets. And then you got your cargo pockets, but they're pretty slim and trim. But they do have expansion if you need to actually put stuff in here. And what they have here also is this exterior pocket, which is a nice little like cell phone pocket. So these, yeah, again, RevTac pants. I might do a full review on them, but I've been wearing them a lot lately because <laughs> you, you, you guys probably get sick of hearing it on the channel, but because, you know, they're OD. And they have a lot of features for the price point. Uh, I'm actually pantsless right now because I was wearing these pants, so I'm gonna put them back on. And in the spirit of OD overload, let's continue the trend. These are not tactical at all, but these are a pair of pants that are, you know, good for lounging. I use them to work out because it's so cold sometimes in Colorado. I don't like wearing shorts from <laughs> my car to the gym. So a lot of times I'll just wear long pants. So these are adequate long pants. Uh, they love the color of them, black and OD. The fit is definitely on the slimmer with the cuffs so you can show off your fancy shoes or whatever. Uh, they're just workout pants for me. I, and they're super cheap, which is the reason I got them. They're Brooklyn Athletics, I think. I think these pants were like 15 bucks. Uh, but yeah, I wear them for working out. Olive, I don't think they're the highest quality pants in the world as far as like, I don't know how long they'll last or how well they're, they'll hold up, but they're very comfortable and they fit well. Here's a pair of pants that I am planning on doing a full review on. Feature, feature full pants. I'm trying to see if there's a tag anywhere. Here we go. These are UF Pro. These pants are awesome. They're more of a combat pant, so they're kind of in your face, 
They don't care about having D-rings and like belt loops that pop open, cargo pockets, dual layer knees for knee pads, all kinds of cool stuff in these pants. They got the kind of the stretch panels. What's cool about these pants, for me especially, is you can get them, the liner's not in right now, but you can get them with a liner. Uh, so if you need to wear them in cold weather, they have a liner. So work well in regular weather, without the liner, work well in cold weather. With the liner, they got knee pads you can toss in here. So really high quality pants from uh, Australia, I believe. And yeah, I'm gonna do a full review on these, but just, this video really isn't like a review. It's more of a, hey, check out some cool gear that you might not have been aware of. So this is a pant, look for a review of those. I think the next pants video I'm gonna do is actually gonna be one that I've been planning for a while. I don't know, I'm gonna title it, Tactical Jeans Showdown or something like that. So I've had some pants, I've had various tactical jeans, the 511 Defender Flex I've had forever, The Tactical Distributors McQuaid. These are the Tactical Distributors Stand Your Ground jeans. They got a couple like multi-cam accents like this. This jean, this pair of jeans is super stretchy, super, super comfortable. Most comfortable pair of jeans I've ever owned. Uh, but that's gonna equate probably to not the most durable jeans I've ever owned. Uh, but this is an awesome pair of jeans. They're gonna be in the these, the McQuaid, the 511 Defender Flex, they're gonna be in there. And then I've got some higher dollar ones. These are the uh, Intercept PV, I think. These are like, you know, these are, the, these are the jeans for people that care about jeans but want a little bit of tactical. So they're raw denim made from some old uh, denim mill or factory. So these are legit, these are legit jeans for the jean connoisseur, but they got some tactical flair. They got like your mag pockets back here and stuff. Uh, they got reinforced thing here. They got reinforced heel cuff. So this is super high quality jeans, raw denim, all that kind of good stuff for you, for you jean connoisseurs. And then another really popular jeans, these are ox cart, another made in the US, and they also got some multicam accents and really cool pocket layout. So these guys here have your standard pocket, your change pocket, and then this little thing that doesn't even really look like a pocket, looks like stitching, but it is another pocket. So we got triple pockets right here, love it! Plus we got this mag pocket, super deep mag pocket back here. If you watch my Instagram, I think I put a, I put a, like a story up of like my 40 round P mag in here and your regular pants. These have some stretch to them, uh, nice material, super comfortable, look really nice. Uh, the, only, the only kind of downfall I guess is that they only come in 34 length, I think. I hope I'm right about that. So if you're longer than a 34 length, I'm not sure, you should check their website. And if you're 30, or if you're shorter than a 34 length, you're gonna need to get them hemmed on your own. I was gonna get my mom to do that because I don't own a sewing machine and I don't know how to do that, but I haven't yet. So I've been wearing them at 34 and they're just a little baggy on me. I normally wear 32. Anyway, ox cart. So I'm gonna be doing a jean, tactical jeans showdown of 511 Defender, Tactical Distributors McQuaid, Stand Your Ground Jeans, uh, Triple Out Design Intercept PD, I think, and then the Ox Cart, and I forget, they're the V2, I forget the name of those two, sorry. I haven't done my homework. But stay tuned for the Jeans Showdown. All right, that's it for apparel. Oh, and just because it was on the ground here, here's a, here's a random backpack, I don't even remember, Jack Wolfskin is the brand. I don't think they're a tactical backpack, but again, my OD fixation. This was a pretty, not super tactical and militant looking backpack, but had some features that I liked. And it was on a crazy sale. I got it for like 30, not a sale, just Amazon, you know, sometimes has cheap stuff. It was like $35. I think it's like a normally $100 pack. Anyway, the reason I'm mentioning this, oh, also, I got the most beautiful laptop sleeve. Nicely padded on the inside, kind of has this little tablet slot or you can put your cables. Anyway, another, obviously, the color, the color of the year. 
Only reason I mentioned that real quick is because, well, it was it was right here. And also, people have been asking me all the time to do an updated EDC backpack video. I love my current backpack. I still love my e-bag Professional Slim. I love the pockets. I love the, the streamlined nature of the pack. I have no reason to replace it. But because I'm a gear guy, I'm a gearhead, I'm a gear junkie, I've been ordering backs. I've been trying backpacks that are different so I can give you guys options. So the e-bags Professional Slim is still my go-to bag. Uh, if I wasn't planning on making another uh, EDC backpack video, I probably would just keep using it, and I, I may, but I'm trying out other packs. There's one called a Dispatch, I think it's D-S-P-T-C-H. If anyone knows anyone over there, I've tried to reach out to them. They have a multicam backpack that I want. It's not in stock. I've reached out to them about when it's gonna get restocked, if I could, if I could get one for review, whatever. Haven't heard back. If anyone knows a contact over there, tell them to email me, mike at llod.us. Looks like a sick pack. Another one, uh, Recycled Firefighter makes a pack that's a little more minimalistic than I want, but I might be able to make it work. And Multicam Black. So the theme here is I want a Multicam Black bag that doesn't look super militant, that isn't covered in molly and Velcro everywhere. I just want one that looks streamlined, somewhat professional, but Multicam Black. There's not many packs out there that meet those criteria. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, as always, I love feedback on videos. If you if you found this style of video helpful, or you liked it, or you enjoyed it at all, let me know. I've thought about doing this kind of video for a lot of other stuff, like tech stuff, gadgets, little knickknacks and doodads, because I have a lot of stuff. I get sent a lot of stuff, I buy a lot of stuff, like I mentioned earlier, and a lot of this stuff isn't worthy well, not, not, it's not worthy, but like, I don't want to do a whole review on it because I only have time to make like a video a week usually. So I don't want to waste it, waste it again. This isn't, I'm not meant to be negative to these little gadgets, but I don't want to, I'll just say it. I don't want to waste a review on a little thing. So I'd rather pack a bunch of little things into a longer video where I talk briefly on some stuff and just really just show it to you guys, build your awareness of it. So if it's a good fit for you, cool. If not, don't even worry about it, just skim over it. So yeah, again, if you like this video, let me know. And always constructive criticism I like. So if you're like, nah, you should do this differently, or you maybe should try doing a video like this. Everyone's tastes are different, so what you tell me may not be what other people like, but I don't know what people like unless they tell me. So comments are always welcome below, and I always appreciate them. Again, Celebrate Christmas with me. If you wanna send me something cool, again, not looking for handouts, not trying to say, give me stuff. Definitely do not send me money. If you wanna just send me a card, cool. If you wanna send me like a little gift, just you know, keep it cheap. I mean, you can send me an expensive gift. I won't say no to it. But the purpose isn't for Mike to get cool stuff. It's for us to just kinda of have a Christmas together. So again, I'll put my PO box that you can send stuff to down below. I'll say your first name and initial, maybe your state or something and celebrate Christmas with me. I think it'll be fun. If I only get like one package or no packages, I'll be a little bit sad, but not really. I'm not expecting to get many, but if you wanna take part in that, awesome. I'd appreciate it. I think it'd be fun. Even if I get one package, I'll still, I'll still do a little video or at least like throw it into a video or something. So yes, awesome. I hope you have a great Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year, right? The, the birth of our savior, if you're a Christian or even if you're not a Christian. But I try not to be preachy to you guys on the channel. I just try to be a cool, normal guy, which I, I think I'm a cool, normal guy. But yeah, Christmas is awesome. If you don't know about it, try to make it to church this Sunday, hear the story, watch a good Christian Christmas, Christmas, uh, what was I gonna say, movie? Something like that. It's a really amazing story. The Bible is really awesome. Christianity is really cool. If, you, if you're anti-Christianity, I'm not trying to convert you by any means, but good time of the year to check it out. All right, take care.